Sounds really nice. There you go. Our next guest is an artist who says her sound is born from the soul of the Muslim African American experience. Her name is Nimat, and she's a native of the DMV, performing her new song, Cover Me. Absolutely fantastic. Boy, does that sound good. Tell us about this song. Wow. What, what is it all about? Well, this song is about covering. So I'm Muslim, and usually, you know, people see Muslim women, they see the garb that we wear, they think of the scarf, but it's a lot more to it than that. It's about protecting your heart, protecting what's dear to you, um, protecting those things that, if, if compromised, you know, could hurt you, making sure that you're just protecting yourself. So when you see that. Muslim women, think of think of this song. There you go. That works. <laughs> You're from this area, DC area. Right? I am. What part? Maryland. Okay. There you go. Maryland. Shadow on the border there. Yeah. Is there a sound coming from that area? Because you sound phenomenal. It's, it's yeah, very blues. Very thick well, blues. Well, thank you. Influence. This is kind of a new. It's got Arabic. It's got English. It's um, derived from the meaning of the Quran. I'm a Quranic Arabic student with the Muslim American Logic Institute. So it really helped me to pull my music and my sound together. So it's a lot of meaning. And uh, I have a new CD out that just came out today. Oh. Called Love Congratulations. Ayats. What's it called? Love Ayats. That means love verses. Okay. Ayats is an Arabic word for verses. So my website themat.net. That's where you can find it. So the inspiration behind all of your music, including the new CD, does it come from your band members who are incredible? You know, it takes a village. Yes, they are awesome. Uh, the local area, your, your background. What well, else? my inspiration, there's a lot going on right now in terms of Islam. Um, I want people to be exposed to what's in the Quran. So when I study, I look for just meaning in the Quran and what I see in everyday life. So people can see just the practical nature of the Quran and become familiar with it. So in hopes to do that, that's really what I would like to do. I guess it's kind of helpful because obviously if you see hear one thing constantly banging the drum, all, no offense, all <laughs> the whole time, all, and then all of a sudden you see something a little different, it's like, hey, mm -hmm. there is something special and a little bit different out there. Good. Thank you so much. Yes. It was beautiful. That was awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for so cool. All right. We'll be right back after this break. Stay with us. Hi, everybody.